Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and uh, you are up and about and ready to face the day. Maybe you are facing the day even as we speak, um, but uh, I pray that God gives you a great day today. I'm going to read to you from the book of Matthew in chapter 6, towards the end of chapter 6, very familiar scripture. In verse 27, which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? Why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So he's forbidding us, telling us that we need not to worry about tomorrow. Um, and you know, that's one lesson that's very difficult to learn, I suppose, a worry to be concerned. We plan for tomorrow. We think tomorrow is going to be here, probably, possibly, um, even with simple things as simple as setting the alarm on your coffee pot to go off and to have your coffee ready when you get up in the morning. Tells me that you probably, if you said it, you probably think you're going to be here in the morning, right? Well, there are there are things, of course, that, that we could worry about, concern ourselves about, and wonder about for tomorrow and the next day and the next day that may not even happen. We may not even be here if they do happen. And so, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. There is no need for us to be overly consumed or overwhelmed with the things that might happen, could happen, may happen, <laughs> but they may not happen either. And so we've spent all that time and energy um, bundled up worrying about something that we couldn't control anyhow. If you can take care of it, take care of it. If you can fix it, fix it. But if you can't, uh, it is best to leave it in the hands of the Lord. Uh, I would like to say hi to uh, Miss Twyla Althouse and uh, pray that she is doing well and continue to pray uh, for her and for her needs and anyone else that watches this on a regular basis and that has needs and concerns. Well, I pray for you as well. So let's give a little shot here on... This song, my dad used to sing it years ago. I've known other folks that have sang it. Dennis Osborne sang it for years uh, as well. It's called The Next Step. Why worry about tomorrow? And why worry your steps are getting slow? For if your life has been spent for Jesus, you don't have much farther to go. The next hand you shake could be the hand of the Savior. Next step you take could be on streets of purest gold, and your next meal could be the marriage supper, and the next touch you feel, he could be blessing. So 
be strong now and keep on going. Don't be angry when things turn out wrong. Don't give up for it's all All the signs are pointing toward home. The next hand you shake could be the hand of the Savior. The next step you take could be on streets of purest gold. And your next meal could be the marriage supper. And the next touch you feel, he could be blessing your soul. And the next touch you feel, he could be blessing your soul. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us, God. We thank you for the opportunity to share your word, to look into your word, and God, to um, consider today the things that bother us, that cause us to, to worry or to fret or to be concerned. God, if there's nothing we can do about those things, I pray that you will bless us to turn them over to you, not to worry about them, but to just turn them over to you and allow you to help work those out for us. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, folks, we'll see you Saturday. We're getting ready for Mother's Day coming up this weekend, so don't forget Mama. Uh, we'll do a, do a couple songs. We'll try to do one tomorrow um, for... Uh, for Mother's Day uh, for you. God bless you. Love you.